What is up guys, welcome back to the Ange Predicts YouTube channel. I'm Ange and I predict stuff. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video out with all your friends. If you like prediction videos, check out my prediction playlist by category. Alright guys, today it is Monday, February the 13th in the NBA, and we have quite a bit of games to go through, so let's take a look at the schedule. Alright, we have these Spurs going up against the Cavaliers at 7 p.m., the Jazz going up against the Pacers, the Rockets going up against the 76ers, Hawks versus Hornets. 7.30, we have the Nuggets against the Heat, uh, the Nets versus the Knicks. Magic versus Chicago at 8, 8 p.m. We have the uh, Pelicans going up against the Thunder. 8.30, we have the T-Wolves against the Mavs. 10 p.m., we have the Lakers against Portland. And then we also have Washington versus Golden State. So let's get right into the predictions. All right, guys, Spurs versus Cleveland Cavaliers, guys. The Spurs are, are just not looking to win. It's pretty clear, guys. Uh, looking at their last 10, 0-10. Oh they're going for that pick, guys. Cavaliers are solid, and they're even more solid at home. This is an easy one. I'm going with the Cavaliers, 116 to 102. I'm taking the Cavs on the money line. Next up, we have the Jazz versus the Pacers. This will probably be a more interesting game, in my opinion, guys. The Jazz has been playing well in their last 10, guys. Uh, they beat the Raptors. They who else did they beat? They beat some other good key teams. Uh, going up against the Pacers, who fell to the Wizards late lately, uh, but they beat the Sacramento Kings uh, not too long ago. So, looking at the last ten for the Pacers, two and eight, so it's not very consistent. The Jazz beat the Pacers the last time they played, one thirty nine to one nineteen. So I like the Jazz on this one, guys, one eighteen to one twelve. And my betting tip is the Jazz cover the spread. All right, next up is the Houston Rockets versus the Hot 76ers. I really like the way they've been playing lately. They're at home, guys. Their home record is 21-8, and pretty solid. They beat the Nets. They beat the Knicks. Uh, they beat the Spurs and the Lakers. They've been playing very consistent. The last time they played the Rockets, the Rockets actually beat them. But I think this time around, guys, the 76ers beat the Rockets by a 122-114 score. I like the 76ers on the money line. Next up, we have the Hawks versus the Hornet. Uh, it kind of looks like a lopsided game, guys. But at the end of the day, I think Hornet, the Hornets could compete here. Uh, they're 7-18 at home, which is slightly, well, I guess, slightly better than their away record, if you want to say. Uh, they haven't been playing good basketball lately. But if you look at their last two home games, they did beat the Heat and the Bulls. Uh, and in the last head-to-head, -head, they beat the Hawks 122-118. I have no problem here going with the Hornets against the spread. Next up, we have the Nuggets versus the Heat. This is a, quite a hard one to choose, guys. Like I said, the Nuggets, yes, they do have the better record, but they've been playing uh, pretty damn good basketball. Their away record isn't as good. They're 13 and 14. The, uh, the Heat at home are 19 and 9. They beat the Magic. They beat the Pacers. Uh, they've been playing some good basketball. There's no head-to-head -head data here, guys. Uh, but looking at the two guys, I have no problem going with the Heat against the spread. Next up, we have the Nets versus the Knicks. Uh, this is going to be an interesting one. Two New York teams, similar records on the, on the season. The Nets 33 and 23. <clears throat> the Knicks are 31 and 27, guys. Uh, looking at the head to head, the Nets beat them both time. And I think the Nets will beat them for a third time. I'm taking the Nets 112 to 108. That's under as my betting tip. Next up, we have the Magic versus the Bulls. You guys know that I love the Magic. Uh, for some reason, they're like an amazing handicapper team. Uh, I just love to take them uh, against the odds. Looking at the two guys, Bulls 16-11 at home. Uh, the last head-to-head, -head, the Magic beat the Bulls. So they definitely could compete with the Bulls. That's why I'm taking the Magic against the spread. All right, next up, we have the New Orleans Pelicans going up against the OKC Thunder. Uh, what could I say, guys? They're both good teams that could surprise. That's all I could say. Pelicans play much better at home. There's no doubt about that. OKC 16-11 at home. There's no head-to-head -head data, but they beat the Portland Trail Blazers. They beat the Nuggets, and they beat the Nets late lately. So OKC's been playing some great basketball. I'll go with OKC to win 128-120. to My betting tip is the over on this one. T-Wolves versus the Mavericks. These are amazing uh, matchups for sure. 
Uh, honestly, 30-29 for the T-Wolves, 31-27 for Dallas. They did pick up uh, some new players in the trade deadline. Um, looking at the T-Wolves, guys, they play their best uh, basketball at home. They're, they're away, which they lost versus the Nuggets. They lost versus the twice the Nuggets. They lost. They lost versus the Rockets. Uh, the Mavericks at home, guys, 19 and 9, pretty solid record. I'll go with the Mavericks to take this one, 124 to 118, and that's my betting tip will be the Mavs on the money line. Next up, we have the Lakers versus <clears throat> the Portland Trailblazers. Uh, I'm not too sure if LeBron is in on this one, but honestly, looking at this, two very good teams. Let's be very honest. No head-to-head -head data at home. Trailblazers 15 and 13. The Lakers are 13 and 17, guys. But if we look at the Lakers' last few games, they have been losing uh, relatively close to the other team. They've been competing for sure, even without LeBron. So I will take the Lakers against the spread. Okay, next up we have the Wizards going up against the Golden State as our final game. You guys know I don't mess with Golden State at home, guys. They're just really solid at home. Uh, let's take a look at the record: 21 and 7. Uh, the Wizards are 12 and 17. They did beat the Pacers, but I don't think they they stand a chance against the Golden State Warriors. I'll take the Warriors to win this one, 128 to 116. My betting tip is Golden State on the money line. All right, guys, those were my predictions for today. I hope you enjoyed them. I would love to hear your thoughts and predictions on the game. Please let me know, guys. I'm Anjan. I'm out of here. Take care and good luck.